On the morning of February 2, 1836, a lone man was on the banks of the Rio Grande near Laredo looking through his telescope for any sign of the Mexican army expected to return to San Antonio after the Siege of Bear. He was on a special mission vital to the revolution's success. Lieutenant Colonel Travis and the Alamo garrison anticipated the Mexican army's return. They were expecting more significant numbers, so knowing intel such as the enemy's strength and the exact time and place they would cross the Rio Grande was crucial. One man would be chosen for this critical mission. Texians and Tejanos in San Antonio agreed that the most qualified man for this mission was a no-nonsense fighting patriot with grit who knew the terrain and was trusted by everyone. In addition, he was a fighter with the now-famous Tejano Volunteer Company. Welcome to TVC History. My name is Alex Andrew. I'm your Texas History Ambassador, and today, we have to talk about one of the Tejano revolutionary freedom fighters in our Texas history, who became famous as the Paul Revere of the Texas Revolution. Join us today as we present our video presentation about the man who rode hard all night warning Texians and Tejano families in our video presentation entitled, Midnight Rider. First, let me welcome you if this is your first time on our TBC page. You're at the right place if you love and appreciate Texas revolutionary history. We're glad you're here. So please hit the like and subscribe buttons and become part of our family. Additionally, if you don't want to miss out on any future videos, hit the bell notification button right now so you can catch all our stories. Also, please support our efforts at the TBC by purchasing cool Texas themed merch from our online store. Check out our vast selection of colorful, vibrant, and quality Texas theme t-shirts available in several colors and available in both short and long sleeves. The link to our online store, TVC Promo Gear, is provided in the description section below. And finally, if you want to learn more about the Tejanos and their participation in our Texas Revolution, remember to order your copy of our book, Tejano Volunteer Company, Stories of Our Texas Revolution, available on Kindle, paperback, and hardcover. The link to request your book is also in the description section below. Now let's get back to our presentation. Interestingly, the day this lone scout was standing on the banks of the Rio Grande searching for the enemy on his borrowed shiny telescope was in fact his birthday. History remembers this lone scout by his birth name, Blas Maria Herrera. Blas was a Tejano revolutionary who served as a courier, soldier, and scout, often called the Paul Revere of the Texas Revolution. Blas was born on February 2, 1802, in San Antonio de Bear, New Spain, and raised in the Spanish customs and culture of the early 1800s as a professional vaquero. Blas Maria spent his early childhood at the Ruiz home on the southwest corner of Military Plaza in San Antonio near Erasmo Seguin's home. His name appears on an 1820 roster of the local San Antonio de Bear militia. Blas was 18 years old at the time, and his rank was sergeant. On February the 3rd, 1828, at 26, Blas married the beautiful Senorita Maria Antonio Ruiz, daughter of Colonel Jose Francisco Ruiz. Senorita Ruiz was one of San Antonio de Bear's most eligible young ladies. They had 10 children together. The Herreras lived on family land near the old San Antonio Road crossing of the Menina River, at Paso de Los Garzas in South Bear County, near present-day Somerset, Texas. In late September 1835, at 33, in the very start of the Texas Revolution, Blas was invited to a meeting at the Flores de Abrego Ranch by one of his best friends, Chava Flores. There, he met with many of his childhood friends, the young men of San Antonio de Bear. Most of the young men at this meeting were vaqueros and rancheros representing families from San Antonio and the surrounding areas. Blas was all in that evening and committed to joining his friend's fight for freedom. Together, they would form a local fighting militia. Blas became a fighter for the now-famous Tejano Volunteer Company under the leadership of his friend, Captain Juan Seguin. Blas was like an 1800s version of an army ranger. He was a skilled horseman, a brave and fierce fighter with extensive military training with vast knowledge of the Texas countryside. Blas was also known and respected throughout Central Texas. These traits made him both dangerous and valuable to the Texas revolutionary cause. During the Siege of Bear in late 1835, Herrera served under the command of Captain Juan Seguin and was involved in the deadly house-to-house -house fighting that took place during the final battle for San Antonio. During the action on the roof of the Verimendi Palace on December 7th, Blas and others, including the Taylor brothers and the Hernandez brothers, provided suppressive fire. Fire! While Texians and Tejanos evacuated Deaf Smith from battle due to injuries Deaf sustained. 
After the successful siege of Bear, the Texian army needed someone for a special mission, with excellent knowledge of Texas terrain at night. And this mission would require a long cross-state non-stop midnight ride. At this point of the revolution, the Texians expected the return of the Mexican army. After General Cos was expelled from San Antonio during the successful siege of Bear, the Texians needed someone to go on a special mission and ride directly to Laredo, camp out by the Rio Grande, and wait for any sight of him returning and invading Mexican army. If and when such an army appeared crossing the river, the rider needed to return quickly with the intel to San Antonio to Bear. The Texians and Tejanos agreed that only Seguin's Tejanos knew the area well enough for such a mission. Therefore, Captain Seguin assigned this critical task to his company's best qualified scout, Blas Herrera. Following direct orders from Seguin in February 1836, Herrera immediately rode south through the night and arrived at the river near Laredo the following day. History remembers that Blas Herrera, a TBC scout, celebrated his 34th birthday while scouting on the Rio Grande, looking for the Mexican army. Eventually, the Mexican army appeared on the afternoon of February 10, crossing the river just north of Laredo. Upon spotting General Santa Ana and the vanguard of Mexican troops crossing the Rio Grande, Herrera jumped on his steed. And as he did, he spotted Mexican scouts who had discovered his position. So Blas took off. Blas rode off hard the 155-mile journey to deliver his report to Captain Juan Segui in San Antonio, and he rode his pony fast all night. Blas rode hard, and as he rode, he warned everyone he encountered about the Mexican army's impending arrival. Herrera's nighttime warnings saved countless lives of Texians and Tejanos by allowing civilian families in the area time to evacuate for safety. History remembers Tejano Meg rider Blas Herrera as the Paul Revere of the Texas Revolution. On February 10, 1836, Blas made his now famous midnight ride where he shouted and warned everyone to wake up and prepare to leave immediately because Santa Ana and the Mexican army vanguard had been spotted and would soon be arriving. And Blas shouted this every time he passed a farm or a small villa. History remembers that inside the Alamo Mission compound in San Antonio, at 3 a.m. on February 11, 1836, Scout and Tejano Patriot, Blas Herrera delivered his report to Colonel James Bowie. That report stated that General Santa Ana had been spotted crossing the Rio Grande and was marching north towards San Antonio with a large deployment of troops. Blas rested after his long ride, but the next morning during breakfast, he was informed of his next important mission. Herrera's next assignment was to serve as security detail for two Dahana dignitaries. Blas was to escort and protect Jose Antonio Navarro, Blas wife's cousin and Jose Francisco Ruiz, Blas' father-in-law during their trip to Washington on the Brazos, where they made history by signing the Texas Declaration of Independence on March 2, 1836. Blas was the only man who stood guard at that historical convention. Although documentation is unavailable, about a month later, family tradition states that Blas Herrera was selected to serve General Sam Houston in intelligence assignments before and during the Battle of San Jacinto because of his excellent countryside knowledge. In late 1836, General Felix Houston ordered the destruction and burning of San Antonio and moved its citizens east of the Brazos River. Lieutenant Colonel Sadin, then in command of San Antonio, sent Herrera with a dispatch for General Sam Houston, asking him to revoke the order, which Houston did. Therefore, Blas kept San Antonio from being burned to the ground. In 1839, Blas Herrera also served as a Texas Ranger during a campaign against the Comanche. One year later, his ranch became the site of the area's first Catholic church in 1840, its first post office in 1868, and a public school in 1872. One descendant, great-grandson John J. Herrera, became a prominent civil rights attorney and served as national president of the League of United Latin American Citizens. State Rep. John Garza of the Texas House of Representatives formally honored and recognized the service of Blas Maria Herrera, Texas Patriot, on February 22, 2011, in Austin, Texas. Blas earned the respect of both Texian and Tejano Patriots. So much can be said of this man's character, devotion to duty, bravery, and loyalty to the country. Like all Tejanos, Blas was deeply devoted to the land of his birth. Blas Maria Herrera served Texas in many roles throughout his long and productive life. Laws Herrera was a true patriot of our Texas Revolution. This video production is dedicated, first of all, to Randy Harpel, Jose Lopez and V. Gomez, proud descendants of Blas Herrera, and also to all of Blas' descendants living today in Texas and worldwide. They continue to carry the torch handed down to them by Blas Herrera, 
a Tejano patriot of our revolution, otherwise remembered as the Paul Revere of the Texas Revolution to the benefit of Texas. Laws Herrera, thank you for your remarkable midnight ride, for your service, deeds of bravery, and heroic devotion to our Republic, Texas. And thank you for being with us today and allowing us to bring you this video presentation entitled Midnight Rider. I'm Alex Andrew with TVC History. Thanks for watching, and remember, Texas heroes, never forget.